Have you ever scrolled through social media and wondered why some posts instantly catch your eye? This can be the power of social media templates. If you're a designer wondering how exactly to craft those templates for your client or a business owner who's not sure how to use them, then keep on watching because I'm gonna show you everything. From designing the social media templates to uploading them on Canva or Adobe Express and then customizing them and making them your own. Stick around till the end of this video because I may have some really cool freebies prepared for you. Let's dive right in. First up, let's set up the artboard. Open up a new Adobe Illustrator document and choose 1080 by 1080 pixels. Now, the number of artboards depends entirely on the variety of content your client is looking for. In our case, we need 5 artboards. Be sure your document is set to RGB mode and when you're ready, just hit the create button. It's a great idea to gather all of your brand assets in one place so you can easily access them when you're designing. This includes the different variations of your logo, the color palette, brand fonts, any illustrations or pattern you've created and any other imagery you've used in the brand materials. Alright, for Spice Root we've identified five content pillars. Now let's get into the fun part. I'm going to design social media templates that match each type of content. Let's dive right into the design process with our very first social media template which is a quote template. As you design, remember to use the brand assets and stick to the visual direction you've chosen for the brand. For Spice Root, we are aiming for authenticity and adventure, so I'll incorporate more organic shapes into the design. Also, I'm thinking of adding some textures and creating a simple shadow. We can achieve that by duplicating this shape, changing its color and setting the mode to multiply. Then let's lower the opacity a bit to let the shapes underneath show through. Moving on, let's work on a recipe template. Spice Root isn't just about sharing products and promos, they like to offer relevant information to the target audience such as unique blog posts and recipes. In this template, we are incorporating the logo, the recipe name, ingredients list and a button that invites the users to check out the full recipe in the post description. And to add our brand's touch, we are using some of the brand's illustrations to fill up the white space and reinforce the brand's message. Next up, let's create a template for a new product announcement. For that, I'm using the chili pepper from the logo and scaling it up so it can act as a placeholder for any images. We are adding some text with the name of the new product as well as a button that says new product in the brand's signature red color to grab the attention. Finally, let's also create a testimonial template that will hold any feedback that Spice Root wants to share. Let's start by adding a small circle as a placeholder for the customer's photo. Then let's draw an ellipse and adjust it with the pencil tool to create a speech bubble with a more handmade organic feel that reflects the authenticity the brand stands for. Next up, I'm adding a shadow under the speech bubble by simply duplicating the shape and adjusting the color and transparency. We also need to create a text box that we hold the customer's review as well as a placeholder for the testimonial's name under the photo. Finally, we'll add some of the brand's illustrations. Here I'm actually using the puppet tool to adjust the stem of the leaves so that they fit the curve of the speech bubble nicely. This template is sure to showcase the positive feedback from the customers in a way that is both authentic and visually appealing. Now that our designs are all wrapped up in Adobe Illustrator, I'm gonna walk you through the process of getting them ready for export step by step. We'll then transition into importing them into Canva or Adobe Express, giving your clients the power to easily tweak the text and the images for the upcoming social media posts. I'm gonna guide you through both methods using Adobe Express and using Canva. This way, you and your client can choose the design software that suits them best. Now, I get it, there's sometimes a big stigma around tools like Canva in the design world. But hear me out, they're actually great for sharing editable branded assets with your clients. 
ads. This way, they be able to maintain their brand consistency every time they create a new post. First up, we have Adobe Express. The export here is actually super easy. All you need to do is clean up any unwanted elements around your artboards, ungroup everything and delete clipping masks that are non-essential. For example, for the new product template, I'm actually gonna get rid of the clipping mask and using the shape builder tool, I'm gonna cut out the chili pepper silhouette from the background so we can put the image directly behind it. This makes our work in Adobe Express so much smoother. I'm gonna do the same for the testimonials template as well. After the cleanup, simply save your document as an Adobe Illustrator file. Now it's time to upload it to Adobe Express and let me show you how. Adobe Express is super simple to use. If you've got an active Adobe subscription, you actually get access to the pro version. First, click on the start from your content button and then upload your Adobe Illustrator file, which contains all of your templates. Keep in mind, this upload might take some time, especially if you've got a bunch of artboards and elements so just be patient. Once the upload is done, hit the open in editor button. Now with these handy arrows, you can flip through all of your artboards. You can also rename them so it's all nice and tidy for your clients. Here's what comes next. You need to go through each template individually and make any necessary adjustments to elements and placeholders. For example, here we need to expand the text box a bit and select the correct font. We're gonna do the same for the recipe template. In this template, there's a small problem with one of the illustrations and it probably has something to do with clipping masks, but that is easy to fix. I'm gonna head back to Adobe Illustrator, release any clipping masks and using the shape builder tool, I'm gonna remove any unwanted bits. Next, let's export this illustration as a PNG file with transparent background and drop it back into Adobe Express. All that is left to do is put it in the right position. For the new product template, let's change up the image with a square pattern indicating that the client should add their own image here. You can also easily add a comment with more information. For the testimonial template, we need to adjust the text box again. When it comes to the customer photo, it's pretty simple. I'll just upload it again and then use Adobe Express crop feature to create a mask. This gives us a handy spot for a placeholder. So if the client wants to switch images, all they have to do is hit the replace button here and pick a new image. For now, I'm just adding my square pattern so that it's clear that this is an image placeholder. To get these templates to your client, just hit the share button up there in the top right corner. Then click on invite collaborators, type in your client's email and after that copy the link and send it that way. On the other end, when your client opens the link, they'll need to create an Adobe Express account if they don't have one already. Adobe Express offers a free version that should be enough for most clients. After that, your client simply needs to hit request edit access and on your side, all you have to do is approve the request. That's it, now your client can start editing and adding their own content, images and so much more. This makes it so easy for them to make branded social media posts with easy to customize templates. I also like to take it a step further. I record the video and send detailed instructions to my clients, guiding them step by step on how to work their magic and customize these templates. To download the edited template, all you need to do is click the download button, choose PNG and hit download again. And here's what the exported social media posts look like. Of course, it's quite likely that your clients might lean towards using Canva or just have an active subscription there. If that's the case, you can absolutely get the templates all set up for Canva too. And guess what? I'm about to break it down into two simple methods to show you how. First, you can bring in the same Adobe Illustrator file you used in Adobe Express. Or you can go for an editable PDF file as well. This method works well when your clients want to change only the text and the images, especially if the templates aren't too complex. Here's how you can do it. Click on the Create a Design button and then choose Custom File. Upload your Adobe Illustrator or PDF file and once it's done, just click to open it. If you have any patterns, just make sure to expand them before saving your Adobe Illustrator file. If you skip this step, the patterns won't be imported correctly into Canva. Also, if you have any objects with transparency, this transparency might not be transferred as the whole background gets flattened so you cannot move or edit objects individually. However, you can still play around with images, text and colors. So if your templates aren't too complex and you don't have too many layers, 
this way of preparing the templates will be a great choice for you. For more complex designs, there is another solution. So the second way to upload the social media templates to Canva is to export each element individually as an SVG file and then rebuild the templates on Canva. This method gives both you and the client more creative freedom to customize the design, play around with colors and arrange things the way you want. Inside Adobe Illustrator, make sure that the objects on your artboard are ungrouped. Then head over to Window and find Asset Export. Now select all the elements from your first artboard and drag them into the Asset Export panel. After that, pick SVG and simply export them. Now SVG files are vector based. They keep their quality when scaled and you can tweak the colors directly in Canva. Repeat the same process for all of the artboards separately one by one. Now in Canva start by creating a file with the right size. For us let's pick Instagram post with the dimensions 1080 by 1080 pixels. Now upload all of your SVG files as well as a preview of the actual finished template design. This preview acts as a guide for you as you recreate a template design in Canva. Simply reduce the opacity and then start adding each part of the original design layer by layer just like building blocks. When you're dealing with text, create a text box, adjust the font and the size and align it with the rest of the elements. This second method takes more time but it gives your client more ways to customize their template later on. Because each design element comes in separately, you can also play with things like colors and transparency effects to add that extra special touch. Once you're done, it's very easy to share the templates with the client. Simply click the share button, then go to more and search for template link. Then just copy the link and send it to your clients. Once they open it up, all they need to do is click the use template button, sign into their Canva account and they can start customizing the templates easily. To download the finished social media post, simply click on share, then download and choose PNG. And there you have it. Now you know what the complete process of designing social media templates look like and how the clients can easily use them and customize them for their social media accounts. If you found this video helpful, helpful be sure to give it a like subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for more videos like this one and if you want to stand out from the crowd and boost engagement i've prepared seven free instagram story templates that will help you do just that be sure to go to my website at our design and then head to the resources page or simply click the link in the description box below and if you have more free time definitely check out this video where i share with you five powerful social media design strategies for your online business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.